So we're here in Manigod at 1500 meters. Uh, John has just done Zagama, trying to recover. Uh, and I'm gearing up for the maxi race in about a week and a half's time. Uh, so yeah, we're here to do some training, acclimatize a little bit for some races coming up at altitude later on in the season as well, um, and have some fun. So a key session I wanted to get done before uh, it's too close to the race was the classic sort of race simulation where uh, I do roughly half distance of the race with a similar amount of climb, similar terrain, sim similar profile to the race itself. Um, and the reason I wanted to do this was actually to test whether my legs can handle the trails at the moment because I'm coming out of winter with a lot of skiing after some injuries and whatnot. Um, so I haven't actually run that much on trails and I especially haven't done much vert going up and downhill. So to me this was like the first proper test uh, whether my body can hold up and whether it's realistic that I'm going to be at the start line in about 10 days time doing a trail marathon. So um, I was doing this with Lou who's the programmer behind the app so it was nice to be doing it together, have someone to push each other. Uh, up and downhill. Uh, so Lou sort of set the pace from the beginning and he opened really hard uh, and I was like okay I'm just gonna roll with it it's not it's not really really hard but it's pretty hard and he kept it up for a good probably 5k or so uh, and at that point I could tell he was easing off a bit so I was like okay this is my chance got my poles out hiking uphill uh, it got pretty steep and we were still keeping a good pace going up until the sort of second big climb. And then it was just hammering downhill, did some missed turns and whatnot, got to the bottom. And at this point, we're actually going back up the final climb or what we think is the final climb of the race because it's a secret race course. So we don't actually know 100% what the final climb and descent is, but we have a fair idea. Pretty tired, didn't fancy the fig bars, so. That's where we're at. We'd been going for about an hour and 40 or something like that. It's definitely quite tired. So at that point, we were sort of getting into, OK, this is what the race pace is actually going to be like. Broken him a little bit. Um, got actually towards the top relatively quickly-ish, because uh, time goes by quicker when you're two, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, got some nice views and they were like, okay, we need to get down now, final, final half hour. Uh, but then he took the lead going downhill. Uh, uh, but it was good to actually have him to follow down and sort of push the pace for me because as I mentioned, not so used to trails as at this point in the season. I still have to sort of find my stride a little bit. So to push the pace for me going down was, was good before race day. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right now, which I'm happy about because I was a bit worried that my body wasn't quite going to hold up and handle that, but at no point during the race sim did I sort of think, oh, I have to go slower. It was more an issue of, come on, legs, keep moving. Yeah, like a good reminder before race day that you really have to pace your effort, especially when it's going to be like a, a long effort, five-ish hours for us. We made it. Down. Right. So it's Friday today, my race is on Sunday the 28th of May, um, so now I'm looking at winding down on the training front, just doing some sort of short sessions to keep the body awake, uh, but I'll definitely do a bit of a taper going into this because I think my body is quite tired from the training that I have done uh, and I also am confident enough that, you know, I'll be able to run it, hopefully, touch wood. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited and um, yeah, not long to go now. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 